Penticton got breakfast and gave back on Thursday morning as a part of the 11th annual South Okanagan drive through breakfast. So this money in particular this year is supporting food initiatives here in the Penticton and Lower Similkameen region. Uh, we know through the pandemic and the global crisis that we're kind of under right now uh, that food security has become a real issue. So United Way has been able to invest uh, and develop food hub uh, supports within the local communities where they're able to produce uh, and, and keep sustainable food going for their community. This year's fundraiser focused on collecting funds for community food security initiatives. I think every community right now, food insecurity has been a big one. And so hearing just some of the actual facts and figures from the United Way is, uh, you know, difficult to digest, but I think it's important to be educational about it. Um, we see it uh, all around us. A lot of people are having to make hard choices these days, whether it's for rent or food or what have you, and p choices people shouldn't have to make. So. Uh, this effort is all about bringing in as much dollars and awareness that we can that so that we can support local communities, uh, particularly those that are rural and remote and a little more disconnected perhaps from, from the, more, the larger communities. Alongside local businesses and emergency service volunteers were local MP Richard Cannings and NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, who's in town for a meet and greet with party supporters. The hope was to raise close to $30,000 on Thursday. We bring out so many people from the community, both in terms of volunteers, people driving through, our amazing sponsors. Uh, everybody's here. To be able to see there's so many organizations locally that do uh, so much good and so to know that these funds that uh, people are donating are going right back into the community is a, a great feeling. By the time the drive through was wrapping up at 9 a.m., the organization had raised over $20,000 so far. For Castnet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.